Bismillah. In this video, I'm going to solve Cambridge IDCSE Mathematics Paper 4, May June 2022, Variant 3. Number 1. Here is a part of past time table. Rashid catches the 9.20 bus at Apotas, finds the time the bus arrives south more. Yes, south more. This Apotas, so we need to subtract. 10, 7 minus 9.20. 10, 7, minus 9, 20. You can solve by two ways. You can start from 9, 20 till 10. We have 40 minutes. Then add 7. Because 10, 7. So 47 minutes. Or you can use calculator to subtract. Just write 10 and you have this pattern in your calculator. 10, 7, minus 9, 20. You will get the same answer 47 minutes. B. Anisa leaves home at 8.27 a.m. and takes 25 minutes to walk to the bus stop at Caleb. She catches the next bus at uh, to center point, finds the total time in minutes for her journey from leaving home to arriving at center point. From 8.27, 25 minutes walk, if we add 27 plus 25, 52, so 8, she will reach 8.52. She is in Calit now, so the next part will be 9.42. From 9.42 to reach center point, she will reach center point 10.30. To find the total time, you have to subtract 1030 arrival time minus the time she leaves home 827. The answer 2 hours and 3 minutes. 2 hours and 3 minutes if you need to write in minutes. 2 hours, 2 multiply 60, 120. 120 plus 3. So 123 minutes. C. The distance from a portal to center point is 29.4 kilometers. Each bus takes the same time for the journey. Calculate the average speed of a bus for this journey. To find the average speed, we need to divide the distance by the time. The distance 29.4 kilometers. So we need to find the time from a to center point from the table the time from a to center point from 9 20 to 10 30 so 10 30 minus 9 20 one hour and 10 minutes one hour and... but we need to convert the time in hours so one hour and 10 minutes can be written one and 10 over 60 to convert minute to second so this is the time in hour. Now divide 29.4, divide by 1 and 10 over 60 or 1 over 6 in the simplest form to get the average speed. So the answer 25.2. 25.2. Now for D, on one journey, all 56 seats on the bus are filled. The ratio of adults to children on this journey, five to three. Adults to children, five to three. The cost for an adult ticket is two dollars and eighty cents. The cost of a child ch uh, ticket is three over four of the adult cost. Work out the total cost of the tickets for this journey. To find the total cost, we need to find the number of adult tickets and the number of children tickets. The ratio between them 5 to 3. So, adults to children to the sum 5 to 3 to 8. The sum is 56. So, with the cross multiply, we can find how many adults tickets and how many children tickets cross multiply 
you will find that we have that 5 multiplied by 56 divided by 8, 35. And for children tickets, 3 times 56 divided by 8, 21. Now the cost for the adult ticket is 2.80. The cost of the adult will be 35 times 2.80 equals $98. The cost for the child ticket, 3 over 4 of the adult ticket. So 3 over 4 times 2.80 equals two dollars and ten cent now to find the cost for the children so number of the tickets which is 21 times two dollars and ten cent equals 44 dollars and ten cent now the total cost Add 98 plus 44 and 10 cent equals 142 dollars and 10 cent. 2a. It draws the image of triangle T after reflection in, on the line y equal x. The reflection y on the line y equal x just switch the coordinates for each point. For example, this point, negative 1 and 2. To find its image by reflection on the line y equal x, just flip the coordinates, switch them. So negative 1 and 2 will become 2 and negative 1. So this is the image for the first point. The same for that point, negative 4 and 2. So 2 and negative 4. 2 and negative 4. The last point, negative 4 and 3. So 3 and negative 4. 3 and negative 4. 3 and negative 4. Now join them. This is the image of triangle T by reflection on the line y equal x. B, uh, double I. It draws the image of triangle T after translation by the vector negative 1, 3. Negative 1, 3. This means 1 unit to the left and 3 unit up. 1 unit left and 3 unit up. So you can apply for this point, one unit left, then a three up, so one unit left, then a three up, one, two, three. So this is the image for this point. Now you can complete the triangle by your own. From this point, one unit up and three to the right. Then complete the triangle. So this is the image by translation negative one three. Triple I describe fully the single transformation which maps T into triangle A. Now from T to A, the size is changed and the triangle also rotate. So this enlargement by scale factor negative, scale factor negative. So this enlargement, scale factor negative, to find the scale factor. Divide the new side by the old one. So 3 small square divided by 2. So 3 over 2 because the scale factor negative. So negative 3 over 2. Negative 3 over 2. So this enlargement. By scale factor. Negative 3 over 2 or negative 1.5. We need to find the center of enlargement. To find the center of enlargement. Join point image and one more point so they intersect at the center of enlargement. So the center of enlargement zero and three. B a quadrilateral B is enlarged by scale factor one point two to give quadrilateral Q. The area of the quadrilateral B is 20. Calculate the area of the quadrilateral Q. If the scale factor 1.2 
this is the ratio between the new side and the old side this means the new side equal 1.2 times the old side but for the area to find the new area you have to multiply by 1.2 square to find the new area so multiply 20 by 1.2 square to find the new area so the area 28.8 centimeter square because the ratio between area and area equals the square the ratio between side and side number three the table shows the numbers of tigers reported to be living in the wild in the year 2014 in some countries using the table find the number of tigers in Nepal as a percentage of the number of tigers in Bangladesh so in Nepal we have 198 in Bangladesh we have 206 and the percentage number of Nepal which is 198 over number of Bangladesh which is 106 then multiply by 100 to find the percentage 186.79 to three significant figure 187 percent we find the ratio tigers in Bangladesh tigers in Indonesia tigers in India give your answer in simplest form so we start with Bangladesh 106 to Indonesia 371 India uh, 2226 if you need to find the simplest form for the ratio between three numbers you can use calculator first find the ratio between 106 and 307 divide in your calculator 106 by 300 71 now you have the ratio 2 to 7 the ratio 2 to 7 so the ratio between 106 to 371 in the simplest form 2 to 7 then find the ratio between 371 and 2226 divide use your calculator to find the ratio 371 divided by uh, 2226 you get the, the answer 1 over 6 right this in the second row the ratio between them 1 to 6 now we have the ratio between 106 and 371 2 to 7 the ratio between 371 and 2226 1 to 6 I need to have the same number at the middle so you can multiply the second ratio by 7 if you multiply the second ratio by 7 then you have 7 and 42 and the first one will be 2 so the ratio between them 2 to 7 to 42 double I Five years later, the number of tigers reported in India was 2,967. Find the percentage increase in the population of tigers in India. So, now 2,967. So, before five years, it was 2,226. Now, 2,967. To find the percentage increase, find the increase over the original times 100. So to find the increase, you have to subtract 2967 minus 2226. Divide the original, which is 2226, by 100 to get the percentage increase. The answer 33.3 to 3 significant figure. Triple I. The number of tigers in India in year 2014 is approximately 30.48% greater than in 2010. Find the number of tigers in India in the year 2010. Give your answer correct to the nearest integer. So because increase 30.48 greater than, so this means the original in 2010 was 100 and increased by 30.48 now 130.48 in 2014 number from the table 
2,226. Now we can find the number in 2010. Cross multiply to find the number. So 2,226 multiply by 100 divide 130.48. The answer 1,706. 1,706 to nearest integer. Now B. At the start of June, a hive has a population 2,000 bees. Three months after the start of June, the hive with a population has a population of 2,662 bees. The population of this hive can be calculated using the formula B equals A B bar X, where B is the population on the hive X months after the start of June. By finding the value of A and the value of B, calculate the population of the hive seven months after the start of June. So after three months, population 2,662. Now if we apply this rule, so 2,662 equal the original, which is 2,000, this is A, into b power 3 because after 3 months and x the number of months now we can find b to find b divide by 2000 and then cubic root 2662 divide by 2000 equals b power 3 now to find b cube root 2662 divide by 2000 equals equal 1.1 so b equals 1.1 now after seven months after seven months so the new population will be the original value which is 2000 into 1.1 power 7 equals 3897 to nearest integer Number four, a regular 12-sided polygon has side length 6 cm, shows that one interior angle of the polygon is 150. We can find each interior by this formula, n minus 2, which is 12, n number of sides, so 12 minus 2 times 180, divide n, so divide 12, this is the number of sides, so the answer 150. Or you can find the exterior. 360 divide by 12 equal 30 then to find the interior 180 minus 30 equals 150 B the polygon is enclosed by a circle center O so that each vertex touches the circumference of the circle show that the radius AO equals 11.6 Correct to one decimal place. The interior angle for this polygon 150. Now, from symmetric, if we divide 150, divide by 2, so this angle 75, because 150 divided by 2, 75, 75. And same, this angle 75. So we can find the third angle for this triangle, ABO. 75 75 we can find the third angle 180 minus uh, 75 plus 75 so this angle 30. now you can use sine rule to find the radius r over sine 55 equals 6 over sine 30. use sine rule r over sine 75 equals 6 centimeter over sine of 30 cross multiply then find r r will be 11.6 to correct one decimal place double i find the circumference of the circle calculate the circumference of the circle circumference of the circle equals 2 by r we have the radius so 2 pi times 11.6 Point 0.9 to 3 significant figure. B. The perimeter of the shaded minor segment formed by the chord AB. 
To find the perimeter of the shaded minor segment, we need to find the length of the arc AB plus 6 cm because we have arc and segment. To find the length of the arc AB, the angle, which is 30, over 360 times the circumference of the circle, which is 2 by 11.6. This is the length of the arc equals 6.07 and now to find the perimeter 6.07 plus 6 centimeters equal 12.07 so approximately 12.123 significant figure <coughs> the regular 12 sided polygon is the cross section of a prism of length 2 cm calculate the volume of the prism the volume of the prism equal the area of a cross section multiply the length multiply the length the cross section to find the area of the cross section the cross section contains 12 triangles so find area of one triangle then multiply by 12 then after you find the area of cross section multiply by 2 so to find the volume find the area of one triangle half time side which is 11.6 the radius times 11.6 sine 30 just one triangle multiply by 12 to find the area of cross section then multiply by 2 to find the volume equals 806 to 3 significant figure centimeter cube number 5 the time t minutes taken by each of 80 people to travel to work is recorded. The table shows information about these times. Write down the class interval containing the median time. To find the median time, the class contains the median time. We need to find the order for the median time. To find the order, divide the total frequency by 2 or multiply by half. So half times 80 equals 40. So the order for the median 40. Each class contains the median, uh, write the cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency for the first group just write the same number, then add 3 plus 7, 10, then 10 plus, 20, uh, plus 18, 28, 28 plus 28, 56. Now, 40, the 40 position included in this class. Because the first class contains the first three, the second can contains till the tenth, the third contains till twenty eighth, the fourth contains till fifty six. So forty included in this class from twenty to thirty five. From twenty to thirty five. For double I, calculate an estimate for the mean time. To find the mean time, you need to find the middle value for each class. Then multiply by the frequency, then divide by the total number of frequencies. So to find the middle value between 0 and 5, 2.5, or add 0 plus 5 divided by 2, 5 plus 10, 15 divided by 2, 7.5, same, next 15, 20 to 35, add them, so 27.5, add them, divide by 2, 35 to 60, if you add, you get 95 divided by 2 equals 47.5. In the median time, we don't need that as a cumulative frequency now. To find the median time, multiply the middle value by the frequency. So 2.5 multiplied by 3 plus 7.5 multiplied by 7 then 15 times 18 plus 27.5 times 28 plus 47.5 times 24 then divide by the total frequencies which is 18 equals 28 bi one of these 80 people is it chosen at random? Find the probability that this person took longer than 10 minutes to travel to work. So we need to find the number of people 
who took longer than 10 minutes over the total number. From the table, longer than 10, this means 18 plus 28 plus 24 over, to find the probability, divide by the total number over 80. So we need to find the sum of 18 plus 28 plus 24 equals 70, divide by the total frequency, which is 80, so 70 over or 7 over 8 in the simplest form. Double I. <laughs> Two people are chosen at random from those taking 20 minutes or less to travel to work. So we need to choose from those who are taking 20 minutes or less. 20 minutes or less, this means less than 20, 18 plus 7 plus 3, so 28. So we need to choose from 28. Now calculate the probability that one of these people took five minutes or less and the other took more than five minutes. More than five minutes. So we have 28 in all. If the first took five minutes or less, five minutes or less. So five minutes or less, we have a three. So we need, we have a three to choose from them. And the other took more than fifth, five minutes, more than five minutes, but more than five minutes and less than 20. So between five and 20. So seven plus 18. So we have 25 people to choose from them. So to, cho to choose the first one, we have three ways out of 28. So three over 28. And to choose the second one, you have 25 be able to choose from them over 27 because the total now 27 and because the order does matter we can choose this one first or that one first so multiply by two this conditional probability we need to choose from those less than 20 so this is the sample space for us we need to choose from those such as that one of them five or less so we have three to choose from them and the other more than five but less than 20 because we need to choose from this group so seven and 18 so 25 so to choose the first one three over 28 for the second one 25 over 27 multiply by two because you can take this first and this second or this first and this second equals 25 over 126 CI, use the frequency table on page 8, this is a table on page 8, to complete the cumulative frequency table. T less than or equal 5, we have a 3, less than or equal 10, so 3 plus 7, which is 10, less than 20, so 3 plus 7 plus 18, or 10 plus 18, which is 28, less than 35, so 28 plus 28, which is 56. Or you can add all before uh, 35, 28 plus 18 plus 7 plus 3, you get the same answer. Less than 60, it's given to you. This is the total frequency, which is 80. Now, on the grid, it draws a cumulative frequency diagram to show this information. To draw the cumulative, uh, cumulative frequency curve, take this value and the cumulative frequency. So the first point, 5 and 3, next 10 and 10, 20 and 28, 35 and 56, 60 and 80. Join them and join with the origin to draw the cumulative frequency curve. Now the first point, 5 and 3, 5 and 3, each small square represents 2 because we have 5 square between 0 and 10. Now 5 and 3, so 5 and 1 square and a half, this 5 and 3. This is the first point. Second point, 10 and 10. 10 and 10, 10 and 10. Next point, 20 and 28. 20 and 28 next 35 56 
60 and 80 60 and 80 this is the last point and join them with the origin so this is the commutative frequency now from the commutative frequency curve find and estimate for the 80th percentile so to find the 80 percentiles so multiply 80 percent by the total frequency which is 80 so the answer will be 64 now start from 64 on the vertical line this 64 and draw horizontal line till you reach the curve then go down to find the corresponding value so the 80 percentile 42 42 so the 80 percentile 42 find and estimate for the percentage of people who took longer than 45 minutes to travel to work more than 45 so start from 45 on the horizontal line then go up till you reach the curve and find the corresponding value think the corresponding value the corresponding value uh, 66 66 so now if i need longer than 45 so 80 minus 66 80 minus 66 because i need more 80 minus 66 which is 14 now to find the percentage 14 over the total which is 80 times 100 to convert to percent Equal 17.5% So take care If I need less than 45 So the answer 66 If I need more than 45 So 80 minus 66 Number 6 simplify A minus 2B minus 3A plus 7B Combine the like terms A and negative 3 1 minus 3 negative 2 So negative 2A Negative 2b plus 7b, negative 2 plus 7, 5, so 5b, so 5b. Expand and simplify 4 times x minus 5 minus bracket 3 minus 2x. So expand 4 times x is 4x. 4 times negative 5, negative 20. Negative 3, negative 1 times 3. If you have negative outside the bracket, this means negative 1. So negative 1 multiply 3 equals negative 3 and negative 1 times negative 2x equal positive 2x now combine the like terms 4x plus 2x equals 6x negative 20 and negative 3 negative 23 now see write as a single fraction in its simplest form multiply the denominator so 2x times x minus 5 then cross multiply 3 times 2x minus 7 times x minus 5 then exp expand and simplify the numerator 3 times 2x equals 6x negative 7 times x negative 7x negative 7 times negative 5 positive 35 over same denominator simplify the numerator we have 6x uh, minus 7x is negative 1x or negative x plus 35 over same denominator for the denominator you don't have to multiply you can leave it like that this solves the equation you can write 6 minus x over 1 then cross multiply so 13 minus 4x times 1 equal 3 times 6 minus x so this 13 minus 4x 3 times x, uh, 6 equals 18 3 times negative x negative 3x 
suppose negative 4x to the other side by positive so you have 4x minus 3x and 18 to the other side by negative so we have 13 minus 18 so this negative 5 4x minus 3x equal x so x is negative 5 e make x as a subject so the first step to remove the denominator cross multiply so y times x equals 5 into b minus 2x now expand 5 times b and 5 times negative 2x so y x equals 5 times b is 5b 5 times negative 2x is negative 10x i need x as a subject so keep x in one side so negative 2x go to the other side by positive so you y x plus 10x equals 5b take x common factorize so you have y plus 10 x times y plus 10 equals 5b now divide by y plus 10 or y plus 10 go to the other side by division so x equal 5b over y plus 10 number seven the diagram shows a field abc calculate bc we have two sides and the included angle so you can use cosine of cosine rule to find bc so bc equals square root 55 square plus 82 square minus 2 times 55 times 82 cosine of 76 equals 87.0 to 3 significant figure B calculate angle ACB need angle C now we have BC equal 87 so we can use sine rule to find angle C 87 over sine 76 equals 82 over sine angle C so 87 over sine 76 equals 82 over sine angle c and the cross multiply to find sine c 82 times sine 7, uh, 76 divided by 87 so sine c equal 82 sine 76 divide by 87 and to find the angle itself sine inverse uh, 82 sine 76 over 87 equals 66.1 to 1 decimal so now this angle 66.1 now see a gate g lies on a b at the shortest distance from c the shortest distance from c is the perpendicular distance the shortest distance from c to a b is the perpendicular distance perpendicular from c to a b i need to find a g i need to find this distance so to find this distance we have right angle triangle this angle 76 and the hypotenuse 55 and we need to find the adjacent so to find the adjacent use cosine cosine of 76 cosine 76 equals the adjacent which is a g over the hypotenuse which is 55 so a g equals 55 cosine of 76 equals 13.3 meter d a different triangular field bqr has the same area as abc bq equal 90 qr equal 60 work out the two possible values of triangle bqr so we have triangle bqr b q r same area left triangle abc bq equal 90 meter q 
QR equals 60 meter and it has the same area like triangle ABC. Area of triangle ABC equal half times 82 times 55 sine 76. Area of triangle BQR equals half times 90 times 60 sine Q. So we can cancel half with half and we can find sine Q now. So sine Q equals 82 times 55 times sine 76 divided by 90 times 60 equals 0 0.81 <coughs> now to find the acute angle we have two possible values if sine positive from the aesthetic rule Sine is positive in the first quadrant, which is theta, or the second quadrant, which is 180 minus theta. So to find the two possible values, find the acute angle first. So sine inverse for 0 0.81, sine inverse, so theta is sine inverse, 0 0.81 equals 54.1. And the other value, 180 minus theta, so 180 minus 54.1 equals 125.9. So the two possible values, 54.1, 125.9. Number eight. A has coordinates negative 2, 7, B has coordinates 1, 8, 5, and C has the coordinates 5, 4. Find the coordinates of the midpoint of the line AB. Midpoint of the line AB. So x plus x over 2, y plus y over 2. So negative 2 plus 1 divided by 2, and 7 plus negative 5 divided by 2. So negative 1 over 2, or negative 0 0.5. And the other value, 2 over 2, which is 1. So negative 1 over 2, or negative 0 0.5 and 1. Find um, the vector AC. To find the vector AC, vector AC equals C minus A. C minus A. So C, which is 5, 4, minus A, which is negative 2, 7. 5 minus negative 2, so 5 plus 2 equals 7. 5 minus negative 2 equals 7. 4 minus 7 equals negative 3. So remember, vector AC, C minus A. Vector MN, N minus uh, M. Vector AB, B minus A. So vector AC, C minus A. Or you can start from A to C. From negative 2 to 5, we have to add 7. From 7 to five, 4, we, add, we have to subtract 3. So 7 and negative 3. To find the magnitude of the vector AC, the modulus, the length of the vector AC, square root x squared, plus y squared this means square root of 7 squared plus negative 3 all squared 7.62 this three significant figure IV finds the equation of the line AB give your answer in the form y equal mx plus c we need to find m the gradient of the line y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so equal negative 5 minus 7 so negative 5 minus 7 over 1 minus negative 2 1 minus negative 2 
so equals negative 12 divided by 3 so negative 4 so the equation of the line y equals negative 4 x plus c to find c substitute by any point by by a negative 2 and 7 substitute so this x and this y so 7 equal negative 4 into negative 2 plus c so 7 equal 8 plus c so c equals negative 1 so now y equal negative 4 x minus 1 for i v for v find the equation of the line perpendicular to a b and pass through the point c gradient of the line a b is negative 4 so the gradient of the perpendicular negative reciprocal so 1 over 4 because this means negative 4 over 1 now find the reciprocal and change a sign so 1 over 4 so now the equation of the perpendicular y equal 1 over 4 x plus c to find c we have point point c equals 5 and 4 now substitute this x and this y so 4 equals 1 over 4 into 5 plus c so by subtract so 4 equals 5 over 4 plus c so now c equals 4 minus 4, 5 over 4 equals 11 over 4 so the equation 1 over 4 x plus 11 over 4 now b the graphs of y plus 5 x equal 8 and y equal 2 x squared plus 6 x minus 13 intersect at the points b and q find the coordinates of b and the coordinates of q we have two equation one linear and one quadratic to solve them start from the linear find x or y then substitute in the quadratic from the linear we can find y we have y plus 5x equals 8 so this means y equal 8 minus 5x so now substitute in the quadratic so y which is 8 minus 5x so 8 minus 5x equals 2x squared plus 6x minus 13 now put all in one side so transpose 8 and negative 5x in the other side so now you have 2x squared we have 6 negative 5 go to the other side by positive so 6 plus 5 so now you have 11x and we have negative 13 and 8 go to the other side by negative so negative 13 minus 8 so negative 21 equals 0 now you can factorize or you can use calculator to factorize then you can find the values of x now the two values for x negative 7 and the 3 over 2 so the two brackets if you need to write the working for factorization x plus 7 and 2x minus 3 equals 0 or you can use the formula to find the two values so we have two values for x for each value for x we can find the corresponding value for y so now y equals 8 minus 5 into negative 7 equals 43 so the first point negative 7 and 43 by the same way to find y if x equal 3 over 2 so 8 minus 5 into 3 over 2 now the answer is 1 over 2 to the second point 3 over 2 and 1 over 2 number 9 9a sketch the graph y equal bracket x plus 1 times 3 minus x times 3 plus x indicating the coordinates of the point where the graph cross the x-axis and y-axis to find the intersection with y with x-axis put y equal 0 so to find the intersection with x-axis put y equal 0 if y equal 0 this means this bracket equal 0 so this means x plus 1 if y equal 0 this means x plus 1 times 3 minus x times 3 plus x equals 0. So we have three brackets equal 0. So maybe the first bracket equals 0 or the second or the third. 
so we have three cases if the first bracket equals zero so if x plus one equals zero this means x equals negative one if the second bracket equals zero so three minus x equals zero this means x equal three the third one if three plus x equals zero so x equal negative three so the intersection with x axis at negative one and negative three and positive three so the curve intersect x axis at negative one and negative three and positive three to find the intersection with y axis put x equal zero put x equal zero because any point on y axis equal x equal zero so if you put x equal zero now you have y equal zero plus one which is one into three minus zero which is three into three plus zero which is three so y equals nine so this means the intersection with y axis at nine so this is nine now to draw the curve for this function this cubic function for the cubic function we have two cases the first one this if the coefficient of a x power 3 is positive if the coefficient of x power 3 is positive so this is the curve if a more than 0 and the second case if the coefficient of, co of x is power 3 negative so if a positive this is the curve if a negative this is the curve now if you multiply x times negative x times positive x positive times negative negative times positive equal negative so the coefficient of x power 3 will be negative because x times negative x negative x squared negative x squared times x negative x power 3 so the coefficient of x power 3 negative so this is our curve so now we need to draw this curve now we can draw the curve like that so this is our curve bi show that y equal x plus 1 times 3 minus x times 3 plus x can be written in this form so multiply this bracket you get that one you can start to multiply the first two bracket so x plus 1 times 3 minus x x multiplied 3 equals 3x x times negative x negative x squared 1 multiplied 3 equals 3 1 times negative x is negative x Simple. combine the like terms negative x and 3x is 2x so we have negative x bar 2 and 2x plus 3 now multiply this this expression by the third one by 3 plus x so 3 plus x into negative x squared plus 2x plus 3 3 times negative x squared so negative 3x squared 3 times 2x is 6x 3 times 3 9 x times negative x negative x power 3 x times 2x 2x squared and x times 3 so 3x now in ascending order so we have 9 and for x we have 6x and 3x so we have 9x for x squared we have negative 3x squared and positive 2 so negative 1 so negative x squared and we have negative x bar 3 double i calculate the x values of the turning points on y equal 9 plus 9x minus x squared minus x bar 3 show all your working and give your answer correct to two decimal places so to find the turning point we need to find the derivative and equate by zero so find dy over dx for 9 derivative 0 for 9x derivative 9 for negative x squared derivative negative 2x 
for negative x power 3 the derivative negative 3x squared and equate by 0 it's a quadratic you can use calculator or you can use the formula so to use the formula you know that x is negative b plus minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a we have a is negative 3 the coefficient of x squared b the coefficient of x negative 2 c the absolute value which is 9 now if you use mod 5 3 in your calculator you can get the answer directly you can get x equal 1.43 and the other value x equal negative 2.1023 significant figure triple i the equation 9 plus 9 x minus x squared minus x power 3 equal k has one solution only when k less than a and k more than b where a and b are integers find the maximum value for a and the minimum value for b this is the graph of the function the original function to solve this equation we need to draw the graph for the function is drawn for you we draw that before and the line y equal k the line y equal k horizontal line but i need the horizontal line intersect this curve in one solution so in one point so to draw horizontal line intersect this curve in one point on only one point so this line should be above this point above the maximum or below the minimum like that below the minimum or above the maximum so i need to find the the value the maximum value at this point and the minimum value at this point we have the stationary points we find the x coordinate of the stationary point which is negative 2 point 10 and 1.43 so to find the minimum value at the function at this point so just substitute by negative 2 point 10 and to find the maximum value you need to find y for this one just substitute by 1.43 so now if you put x equal negative 2.1 so f negative 2.1 equals 9 plus 9 times negative 2.1 minus 2 negative 2.1 squared minus negative 2.1 power 3 equals equals negative 5.0523 significant sign below negative 5.05 .05, like y equal negative 6 y equal negative 7 y equal negative 8 intersect the curve at one point so the maximum value for a is negative 6 the maximum value to intersect the curve at one point is negative 6 because if it's negative 5 intersect at three points if it's negative 5.05 .05, intersect at two points so less than negative 5.5 and integer so negative 6 or negative 7 or negative 8 so the maximum negative 6 the maximum value for a negative 6 by the same way we can find b the minimum value for b any line above this point intersect at one point so we need to find this point itself we need to find the value of this point so now substitute by 1.43 so if 1.43 equals 9 plus 9 into 1.43 minus 1.43 squared minus 1.43 cubed equals 16.9 so now if we have the line y equals 16.9 intersect the curve at two points more than 16.9 like 17 18 19 and so on intersect the curve at one point so the minimum value for b 17 so 17 so the minimum value 17 so b equal 17 number 10 the diagram shows the cuboid cg equal 6 centimeter ag equal 24 centimeter this is the diagonal of the cuboid and ab equal twice bc two times bc 
Calculate AB. We need to find AB. So if BC, if we consider that BC equal X, so AB equals to X. Now we have a formula to find the diagonal. We know that the diagonal square equal length square plus width square plus height square. So 24 square equals 2x all squared plus x squared plus 6 squared. 24 squares 576 equal 2x all squared is 4x squared plus x squared plus 36. Now 36 go to the other side by negative. So 540 and 4x squared plus 1x squared equal 5x squared. Divide by 5. So x squared is 108. So x equals square root 108. So now AB equals 2x equals 2 times square root 108. You can use calculator to find the answer to three significant figure equals 20.8 centimeter now b calculate the angle between a g and the base a b c d a g intersects the base at a if we drop perpendicular from g to the base so it will be c now join c and a the diagonal so we have right angle triangle we need to find angle theta we have opposite 6 and we have a hypotenuse 24. So theta sine inverse 6 over 24 equals 14.5 to nearest degree. 14.5.